Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and Microsoft has detailed how starting with Windows 11 25H2 a slow but a good change is coming to the Windows driver architecture. So first of all a lot of what happens in Windows is in a program lang programming language that you know, C, C++, these, these have been around for a long time and are, are, you know, pretty much the basics of a lot of the code within the operating system. But something is seeping in, which is even better. Uh, more and more, the um, operating system is integrating Rust programming language. And this is a great new tool, a great advantage for Windows. And why, uh, for those that just don't understand the you know, basics of the programming language of all, uh, it's because Rust is, first of all, an open source language, and it is created to be as secure as possible, to have memory protections, to have all sorts of ways of making the running code difficult you know, I, 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 I was about to use the uh, impossible to, to, you know, penetrate, but impossible does not exist in programming. More difficult in trying to modify and, and you know, tweak that code into going into malware and, and doing bad things than regular code. And they were saying that new guidelines for the drivers of the different um, hardware, for example, of the system have been issued. So the uh, TechNet, actually, at Microsoft has issued a series of guidelines saying, well, here are the change coming. And 25H2 is going to be one kind of part of that start of where in drivers within Windows, the Rust programming language will seep in to make these drivers even better, more secure, and, um, you know, they will add compatibility with the existing programming code and languages, but they will also make things much better in terms of security around the hardware. So these are welcome changes. There are going to be, of course, changes everywhere. Uh, manufacturers of hardware will have to, you know, abide by uh, a series of new rules. And, and make sure that they um, actually have all of their hardware compatible and working with this uh, change. So this is going to be interesting. And um, Rust has been slowly seeping into Windows, but now I think Microsoft is getting it more and more into uh, the let's go for it and really make sure that we use as much of this programming language to make everything or every part of windows as secure as possible so you know it's modern programming languages guys that go back into you know the old days remember the old programming languages you know, like uh you know fortran and and so on of course basic was there but uh you know all of the 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 programming languages that were there and that today have been of course replaced with something you know better and as time goes by, um, probably, you know, more. Um, and the fact that it's open source is cool because uh, open source means there's a lot of people that are actively working on it and want to help develop it. More people will work on open source programming languages. So this is also uh, very, very nice. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.